Hey guys, Nick from Security Pros, and today we are going to be changing the date and time on your security system. So if I uh, say you log in your system, you realize the date and time is incorrect. Maybe it's just the date, maybe it's just the time, or maybe it's both. This is, uh, I'm going to show you exactly where to go to make those changes. So first thing we're going to do is head to the main menu. We're going to right click anywhere on the screen and go to main menu. And from here, we're going to go to the system settings at the bottom. Now inside a system, we want to click the general tab on the left and make sure that we have the date and time highlighted in the middle here. Um, if you need to make any date and uh, time changes, you can do it right here at the top. You can change your time and date. Now my date and time is correct. I'm just kind of showing you exactly where you would need to do that. Um, I am in the Eastern time zone, which is correct. Um, any changes that you make here, you want to make sure that you click this save button. That is going to be very important. So say we made a ch uh, change to the time, we want to save that here and that's going to make sure that it applies to the system. You can also change the date format and the separator here. Um, if you wanted to use something a little bit more commonly used in the States, month, day, year is pretty common. Um, if you like the separator to be a slash or a dash or a dot, you can change that. I'm not going to do anything there. This is a pretty nice one here, this time format. By default, it is set to military time, a 24-hour time. Uh, you can change that to a 12-hour and you can have an AM PM. So right now um, in my time it is, uh, th that is correct, it is 821 PM so I'm not going to change anything there. Uh, maybe you wanted to do daylight savings time. You could enable this here and predefine this. I am not going to get into daylight savings time and uh, so I'm going to keep that disabled and if maybe you like to use a network uh, network time server or, or anything NTP related you can enable this if you'd like. It's not necessary uh, but you can use your own server port and uh, change the intervals as you see fit. Um, if you do have an NTP server, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, by default, that is disabled. But um, yeah, so we're going to uh, kind of jump back up here and make sure that we click that save button if we did make any changes. And at the bottom, one more place. After we save, we always want to make sure we apply at the bottom right hand side. So not only did I save this, but I'm also going to apply. And what we're gonna, if we go back in time here, we go right click, and we're going to go back to the screen, we'll see that our time is now correct. It's 8.22 p.m. instead of that 24-hour timeline. And this is going to be the uh, basically the watermark or the timestamp that is shown on the video. It's a little bit easier to read. Um, it all depends on your preferences. Some people really like the 24-hour timeline. Some people like the 12-hour. It's totally your call, but this is where you would go to make that change in the system settings and date and time.